This is Tepco Psycho Parent. Today we're going to set up the uh, Mi Box, Xiaomi Mi Box. This one here I just got from uh, Walmart. It's uh, at the time of purchase here, it's $69. So let me show you just quick what's in the box. This is not really a unboxing, but I'll just show you what came in it real quick. The uh, unit right there. All right, the books, instructions. And then here you have the controller, HDMI cable, your power cord. So um, this is a, um, okay, let me see right there. All right, so this is a Wi-Fi only, so make sure you get a good Wi-Fi connection. But I'm going to go ahead and set this up right now, and uh, we'll see how it works out. All right, so I'm hooking it up now. What we have is the uh, HDMI cable and then the power cable. Power cable's in there, so... Let it boot up. All right, so I'm going to put batteries in. Synced up with the controller. English. I'm going to say no for this. All right, so I'm going to add in my Wi Fi password. Stand by. So I just enter my password, hit enter. Now it's connecting. Now it's asking for my uh, Google account email address. All right, so I just entered my uh, account there. We're gonna accept the terms, location, let third party know, I say no. Help improve Android TV. Send in diagnostics, no. All right, so this is the initial screen right here. It's setting up. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, this is all the stuff that's in it right now. I'm gonna jump into Google Play. And this, this is how I recommend setting up um, Cody if you guys are new or uh, you want to be able to update it easily without having to deal with APKs or anything, just go to the Google Play Store and do it that way. So let's go in here to uh, the Google Play Store. All right, and then we're going to search for um, Cody. Cody. That was a voice search on that one. It's pretty neat. Another thing, this controller that, that I'm using here that came with it is a, uh, it's a Bluetooth controller, and it's synced up. So the cool thing about it is you don't have to, if you have a box like my other box, MXQ box, it, you have to point the controller directly at it. With this one, um, you know, it doesn't have to be in the same room. So when, when I'm done setting the box up or now if I wanted to I can just lay that box you can hide the box so it doesn't have to be directly in view of the controller so it's a pretty good pretty good thing a lot of people like to have their TV setups nice and clean so you can hide the box that way all right so in the future if you if you install Cody this way when an update comes up all you have to do is go into the Play Store and select uh, go to my apps select Cody and hit update if you do it the other way through the Cody website you'd have to go to the Cody website every time and update it that way this way if you do it through the Play Store 
it will update everything without losing any of your settings. All your settings are going to be the same. Um, so it's real simple, easy update, and, every, and you don't lose everything, which is the biggest concern for a lot of people when they, they take a lot of time setting up the way they want to. And they don't want to lose any of that. So it's best to do it like this through the uh, Play Store. So I'm going to let this set up here. And I'll, uh, I'll be right back when it's about done. All right, so downloaded it, now it's installing it. And let's see where we're at. There we are, 16.1 Jarvis. There we go. So far, the box works good, looks good. So let's, uh, let's see how things run here. Let's hit the home button, which is the circle on this controller. Let's go down to Red Bull TV. I got the volume down, so. There you go. So everything's playing fine on here. Works good. Let's hit the home button here. Learn how to use the setup here on this as well. So I'm hitting the back button. There we go. And you remember, Cody, make sure, you know, one of the things that a lot of people ask me about is, when you're shutting down Cody, make sure that you turn it off properly. You can see it's updating in the bottom right. So, uh, and you can see on the uh, bottom left right there, when I uh, want to turn it, shut it down, I'm going to shut it down the proper way, exit, and this way you don't get a black screen on startup. All right, so here we are back in the, uh, the main screen, the home screen, and then you can see Cody down there at the bottom right there. So, easy setup. Then uh, there's you know there's a hundred things you can do with Cody. Set it up whatever way you want. I just wanted to show you guys how to set this box up, how it worked, clicking through things. Um, you know everything is on here. I don't I really don't use any of the rest of the stuff. I use um, Cody and uh, Red Bull stuff here. So but you see there's some other things on here. But uh, that's it. Now until next time, it's just Tepco Cycle Repair.